Being a, a person of color, you are always thinking about whether you should even say anything, uh, put yourself out there because you've experienced a lot of blowback in the past. How do you protect yourself but at the same time try to navigate that space where you want people to see that you have something to contribute but that they don't look at how you present. Don't look at the color, don't look at the book. Look at the content of what's coming out of the person's mouth is what I've you know, always tried to, to lead with. And, um, but it still continues to be uh, a, a challenge that I, I face in even till this day. I'm Dr. Claudine Cousins, CEO of Empower Simcoe. Empower Simcoe is such a great organization. I'm actually truly blessed to be working there. It's an organization that supports all people, people with disabilities and people without disabilities. We consider ourselves a no wrong door. Regardless of who reaches out to us, if we're not the right place, we're going to connect you to the right place. It's an organization that came about from parents who wanted something better for their kids. They didn't want their kids to go into an institution and they thought, you know, let them come together and see what they could come up with. And that's how Empower Simco started, from a couple group homes to where we are now at 42 group homes and other multi-service agencies. Simcoe County is a great place to have any business, you know, and Empower Simco has benefited from that. The community here is second to none. Just the way people interact with each other and are welcoming to each other, I've seen that change because I was here when I felt truly isolated, even within Simcoe County. I felt that I was under the microscope. When people see me, they would stare at me, look at me like I didn't belong here. And um, I've seen that evolve over time. So winning the RBC Women of Influence Award for Collective Impact Regional, oh, I, I don't even know if I have the words, you know. I, I was actually floored, <laughs> if I can say that. I was floored. Personally, I have traveled quite a journey to get where I am, um, experienced a number of things, but I've always pushed through. So this award really sort of encapsulized my journey to this point. It showed me that there are others out there that recognized what I bring to the table and what I have contributed to our society. I'm really interested in the change that is happening in Simcoe County. And this award says to me, Claudine, you're on the right path because you have shown to others that you are impacting your community, you're impacting organizations, and you're impacting people. I want to continue to help Simcoe County grow and evolve, to move ahead in a positive way, to leverage the skills that are being brought forward into the county by people of color, um, racialized people, by women, by men, by all of us to help us grow. And I think that you know, one of the things that I would love to be able to do is to be at those tables with um, these leaders, to be part of the policy development at the front end, to help contribute to, you know, the voices that are discussing how we can move ahead in a way that is reflective of everyone and inclusive of all. The community is recognizing that you know, someone who's different um, might bring something that is helpful to the community, um, might be able to help the community to, to change along with the environment that's changing. So I've seen that and, um, you know, I'm hopeful that that will continue and uh, that organizations will recognize and appreciate what others have to bring. We have to keep in mind that we must give recognition and thanks to those who have not only traveled the journey with us but who have continued to elevate and push us to, to where we are and that you know we can only grow better together if we recognize that.